Hey folks, today I'm going to do another install on my 2015 Street Glide Special. This is going to be Custom Dynamics Vent LED Light. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show you what comes in the box. Okay, not much comes in the box. You obviously have your vent LED light, zip ties, and your instructions. Okay, first thing you got to do is take your fairing off. You have three T27 bolts up front. And then on the other side, you have two T27s on the left and right of the bike here and down here. You'll notice when you take these bolts out, one is longer than the other. Top one's the long one, bottom's the short one. Just remember that when you get ready to put them back in. Now I'm gonna take off these three T27s like I mentioned before. First, I'll start with the left and the right. That way I have the middle in so it doesn't allow the, the fairing to fall down. And you may or may not have this windshield trim. And of course, you got I have bags behind this, so I'll have to remove that as well. Now it's time to take the fender down. Place that in my pocket. Just move it a little bit forward. Let it rest on the fender there, protected fender. And then go ahead and move. Remove the uh, headlight connector and any other connectors you might have okay now that we got the fairing off the next step is to remove the OEM vent and it's stuck on there with a double-sided tape and there's a couple little brackets here and then here and here help holding that in place it just snaps in so we're gonna have to take a razor blade and kind of cut in there All right, as you can see, I was able to get the sticky glue off from the double-sided tape. In case you're wondering what I used, I used Goof Off. It worked really well. Just gotta be patient and use some elbow grease. Works just fine. All right, now it's time to install the vent light. And you gotta install the top first and then the bottom. But one thing I noticed with these GAE wiring connectors, you can disconnect them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect these just to make it easier instead of have to worry about all these wiring. And once this is in place, I'll just plug them back in. Take off this red backing for the sticky side on the top and bottom. And then we're gonna start with, make sure you get the cables in there and start with the top. And this should pop in. Oh, there it is. Just a little close up. You want to make sure these tabs are in place. That way the stickiness of the double sided tape is touching. And I tell you, these bottom pieces are a pain, but keep that in mind. Okay, now I got to take the half inch nuts off the turn signal bracket. Just come off. You'll see a JAE wiring connector. Just want to pop that off. Now this procedure is for both sides. <clears throat> I got to connect the male to the female JAE. All right. And then I need to run the cable I disconnected <clears throat> up through this hole here. Same on both sides. And you're gonna plug in turn signals again. Push that JAE back in. Put your turn signal bracket back on with your turn signal. And I'm going to put my half inch acorn nuts back on. All right, now it's time to make the connection to the uh, vent light. Here's a connection for the left side. 
making that connection now. Then you got the right. And go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and plug the, plug the rest of the lights up. Now you're gonna have to do some kind of cable management here, the best you can. And definitely a second person would help. I'll let you decide how you want to do your cable management. All right, so I usually uh, just hand tighten these uh, T27 windshield bolts, but if you want to torque them, they are 25 to 30 inch pounds. Also, you have your inner fairing bolts. You got the long one, which like I said, it goes up top. And then you got your short one, which goes on the bottom. Again, I'll, I'll hand tighten these, but if you want to torque them, they are 20 to 30 inch pounds. Last, I'm going to button up the acorn nuts on the turn signal brackets, and that is 120 to 180 inch pounds. All right, folks, that's it for this install. Pretty easy install. The hardest part was probably just lining up those tabs on the fairing, making sure they're, they snap into place. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty easy install, plus a lot more visibility. I'll show you it with a few clips at the end of this video, but I appreciate you watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and always rip the ride. See ya.